Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading, <clears throat> June 24th to June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And we can jump to the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for Pisces week, that is going to be uh, the Page of Wands, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that you Pisces needs to overcome here for throughout the week, this is going to be uh, the <clears throat> Tree of Wands. Afterwards what we have it is the uh, positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the, seven, uh, the Eight of Swords for what it seems, excuse me. And the last one, uh, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you guys. That will be uh, the ten of uh, the ten of wands. So once again, page of wands is the topic, followed by the tree of wands, which is uh, the challenge. Afterwards, it's going to be the eight of swords, which stands for the positive aspect, and then the last one, that will be the ten of wands, which is uh, the guidance. All right, so uh, Pisces, this uh, this week, what happens this week is going to have an outlook into the far future. And uh, the very topic of it is related with the page of wands, which stands for a, a person. So the way I see it and the way that these cards make most sense is that you are to be approached by this person with an extraordinary idea that they do have which they want to involve you into this idea. And on a first, uh, uh, at the first time when you hear about the idea, you know, uh, you are gonna actually think that it is a great thing, all right? You are gonna think that, uh, well, that is something quite exciting, quite extraordinary, and there is definitely a potential in it. The problem is that the page gets way too much ahead of himself, all right? And uh, actually, while the idea is quite good, there is not a, a single shred of, of circumstances to support that idea. What I mean is that um, there is a lot of work to be done before that idea even can be considered pushing on forward. But that being said, it doesn't mean that you have to completely dismiss what uh, the page is approaching you with. Just on the contrary, um, you can dismiss the page but not the idea itself. Now, if I have to give you an example here, guys, um, and we follow, let's say, a relationship, that could be a person who is uh, very enthralled by you, they, they really want to uh, kind of like establish certain form of relationships with you, it's just their behavior is not, it seems a little bit immature, and as well, they have no clue whatsoever how they are going to sustain that relationship, nor 
you do have a clue how they're going to stay sustain that relationship pure example of that is that let's say that a, a new person appeared in your town and you are you know you're just getting the hang of it together and uh, it's it, things are looking very good but it turns out that that person lives somewhere let's say you're in the united states they live in europe so how you're going to be together you don't know but right now you can't be together however in a um in the long-term future, you may figure out a way how you can be. That is just an example how these things are gonna play out. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the, the uh, chariot card and the formation, it is a uh, active enemies that we do have and definitely we do have here a, a premature incorporation of, uh, of one's passion, you know, of one's uh, desires, of, of one's yearnings. So what the chariot here points is that uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a, a tremendous effort at this particular stage to make that thing which the page approaches you with to come true. But that doesn't mean, like I said, that it is something that cannot become true in a, a long run. So instead of... Um, fall into a, uh, a, a felicious beliefs at that particular stage, maybe it will be best if you start thinking of, you know, how bit by bit, step by step, hard and slow to make that, um, make, make that idea or a yearning that page approaches you with a, a reality. That could be, for example, a person approaches you with an idea for a private business, where you're going to get the money for it. However, you know, where you're going to establish that business, how you're going to attract clients, these things, you know, these uh, <clears throat> very substantial sides and, and details of the idea are not going to be uh, quite figured out. This is what I'm trying to say here with that um, new enterprise the page is going to be uh, is going to approach you with and uh, that is well described here with the tree of uh, wands on a, a challenging position it does point that the foundations are not laid yet so that's why there is a, a big gap in between uh, you know where you stand where you both with the page stand right now and the uh, the very initiative stage you know of the cumulative yearning that you're gonna have with the page so um, it's gonna be quite challenging what I mean is that there th th there will be a circumstances which require a, a tremendous amount of effort from your end and from the end of the page of once as well and that will be the challenge itself to recognize that simultaneously what the ch what the page is approaching you with it's a uh, extraordinary experience that you can have in the long run but you are not ready yet, you know, to manifest in it. The accompanied card here, that will be the nine of uh, cups and the formation, it is a active enemies once again. And with the nine of cups, definitely there are <clears throat> here, how can I describe it? A um, more important things that you can attend to for, that you can attend to for throughout the week and it's it's it, these things are peripheral they have nothing to do with the general topic they are just usual chores for example you know or usual responsibilities that are outside of the enterprise that the page of wants offers to you so what these cards this far are selling us guys for you pisces is that you gotta hold down your horses you know while one idea it's it is a, a good idea sometimes it needs time to develop sometimes it needs preparations and you have to figure out how you're gonna get that it prep how you're gonna get those preparations uh done while you attend to the uh, usual routine of your life, the usual responsibilities, let's say towards your family, towards your career, and etc., etc. Yeah, it's a very good thing. Yeah, if it happens, it will be a, a turning point probably in one's life, but unfortunately, it cannot happen right now. And this is the positive aspect itself here with the uh, Eight of Swords. It means that you are definitely going to recognize that right now it's not the time, right now the circumstances circumstances are not right for it you know and right now uh, it will be extremely stupid either of you you know to charge into uh, this direction the first thing that comes to my mind as an example here is that let's say that you meet a person that you fall with each other 
quite a lot but either you are married or either they are married so yeah being together it's something very manifestable all right but not right now because it's not going to be a relationship it's going to be an affair and beforehand you know you need to lay out the foundation you need to lay out the prerequisites meaning you know divorce meaning you know separating with whomever is the third party and etc etc the accompanied card here is going to be the um, Wheel of Fortune. So additionally to that, uh, while you recognize that right now is not the time and there is a lot to be uh, prepared before, you know, this idea or this enterprise the page approaches you with can be manifested, you're also going to recognize that that is exactly what you needed. I mean, this idea or an enterprise that the page approaches you with it is something that is going to make you happy it's something that is going to stir your life moving on forward and it is something that you have waited for a, a quite a long time which uh is not going to plant a, a shred of a um doubt that you have to do whatever it takes in order to lay the foundations and the prerequisites for that enterprise to become true and to be able to be developed. Which leads us to the next card here, and that will be the uh, guidance card that is going to be the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands, it's, it's a very, um, how can I place it, very clear on the message here. And it says that it's gonna be difficult, all right? It's gonna be time consuming. It's going to be uh, quite overburdening as well, overwhelming, you know, but it's definitely worth it because the Ten of Wands also sometimes means an, an awesome opportunity coming in your way. And I have no doubt here that the page approaches you with that awesome opportunity, but it will require some new rules. It will require that you need to stick with the routine. It will require that you um, please the circumstances and please a lot of people as well in order to make the foundations as strong as possible so you can initiate that um, that dream of yours let's say or this new uh, exciting enterprises of, enterprise of yours so let's say you are uh, that page approaches you with an idea for private business well obviously you, you need to please investors if you don't have the money for it so yeah you can't do it on your own and you need to stick with the rules of others either circumstances or people in order to uh, make it happen. The accompanied card here is going to be the world card, the foundation, it is a, uh, the formation, excuse me, it is a uh, active um, neutrals that we have. And the world points that nothing is uh, is decided right now. What I, what I mean that under nothing is decided is that there are gonna be ups and downs and when you go through a, a down a, a down of the situation, you know, where you are down in the dumps into the situation, you should not fall into belief that uh, that thing is possible to happen. It's no different than, you know, one day you are excited about it and uh, you see only the bright sides of, of this enterprise. And on the other day, you just only think that you can see is how that thing cannot work out, you know, and that can severely diminish your mood. It can severely diminish your clamor about its uh, positive unfoldment so this is what I'm talking about here that you should not be biased that that thing will not gonna happen but just believe uh, that uh, one day you know one day uh, if you put the efforts and the toils behind it it's it's gonna be uh, uh, something real so yeah don't um, how can I place it don't reject a uh, an, an option for your good future just because it cannot happen right now and just because you know the road toward this uh, toward this dream or this enterprise is not clear yet it is not defined yet it will be it's just it requires a lot of efforts from both of your ends your and uh, yours and the page of ones so that being said, guys, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading, June 24th to June 30th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.